a base, to lower in position, estimation, or the like, degrade. Abbess, the lady superior of a nunnery. Abbey, the group of buildings which collectively form the dwelling place of a society of monks or nuns. Abbot, the superior of a community of monks. Abdicate, to give up royal power or the like. Abdomen, in mammals, the visceral cavity between the diaphragm and the pelvic floor, the belly. Abdominal, of pertaining to or situated on the abdomen. Abduction, a carrying away of a person against his will or illegally. A bed, in bed, on a bed. Aberration, deviation from a right, customary, or prescribed course. Abet, to aid, promote, or encourage the commission of an offense. Abeyance, a state of suspension or temporary inaction. Abhorrence, the act of detesting extremely. Abhorrent, very repugnant, hateful. Abidance, an abiding. Abject, sunk to a low condition. Abjure, to recant, renounce, repudiate under oath. Able-bodied, competent for physical service. Ablution, a washing or cleansing, especially of the body. Abnegate, to renounce a right or privilege. Abnormal, not conformed to the ordinary rule or standard. Abominable, very hateful. Abominate, to hate violently. Abomination, a very detestable act or practice. Aboriginal, Primitive, unsophisticated. Aborigines, the original of earliest known inhabitants of a country. Above board, without concealment, fraud, or trickery. Abrade, to wear away the surface or some part of, by friction. Abrasion, that which is rubbed off. Abridge, to make shorter in words, keeping the essential features, leaning out minor particles. Abridgment, a condensed form, as of a book or play. Abrogate, to abolish, repeal. Abrupt, beginning, ending, or changing suddenly or with a break. Abscess, a collection of pus and a cavity formed within some tissue of the body. Accordion, a portable, free-read musical instrument. Accost, to speak to. Account, a record or statement of receipts and expenditures, or of business transactions. Accouter, to dress. A credit, to give credit or authority to. Accumulate, to become greater in quantity or number. Accuracy, exactness. Accurate, conforming exactly to truth or to a standard. Accursed, doomed to evil, misery, or misfortune. Accusation, a charge of crime, misdemeanor, or error. Accusatory, of pertaining to or involving an accusation. Accuse, to charge with wrongdoing, misconduct, or error. Accustom, to make familiar by use. Acerbity, sourness with bitterness and astringency. Acetate, a salt of acetic acid. Acetic, of pertaining to or of the nature of vinegar. Ache, to be in pain or distress. Achillean, invulnerable. Achromatic, colorless. Acid, a sour substance. Acidify, to change into acid. Acknowledge, to recognize, to admit the genuineness or validity of. 
Acknowledgement. Recognition. Acme. The highest point or summit. Acoustic. Pertaining to the act or sense of hearing. Acquaint. To make familiar or conversant. Acquiesce. To comply, submit. Acquiescence. Passive consent. Acquire. To get as one's own. Acquisition. Anything gained or made one's own, usually by effort or labor. Acquit. To free or clear, as from accusation. Acquittal. A discharge from accusation by judicial action. Acquaintance. Release or discharge from indebtedness, obligation, or responsibility. Acreage. Quantity or extent of land, especially of cultivated land. Acrid. Harshly pungent or bitter. Acrimonious. Full of bitterness. Acrimony. Sharpness or bitterness of speech or temper. Actionable. Affording cause for instituting an action, as trespass, slanderous words. Actuality. Any reality. Actuary. An officer, as of an insurance company, who calculates and states the risks and premiums. Actuate. To move or incite to action. Acumen. Quickness of intellectual insight or discernment. Keenness of discrimination. Acute. Having fine and penetrating discernment. Adamant. Any substance of exceeding hardness or impenetrability. Addendum. Something added or to be added. Addle. To make inefficient or worthless. Muddle. Adduce. To bring forward or name for consideration. Adhere. To stick fast or together. Adherence. Attachment. Adherent. Clinging or sticking fast. Adhesion. The state of being attached or joined. Adieu. Goodbye. Farewell. Adjacency. The state of being adjacent. Adjacent. That which is near or bordering upon. Adjudge. To award or bestow by formal decision. Adjunct. Something joined to or connected with another thing, but holding a subordinate place. Adjuration. A vehement appeal. Adjutant. Auxiliary. Administrator. One who manages affairs of any kind. Admissible. Having the right or privilege of entry. Admittance. Entrance or the right or permission to enter. Admonish. To warn of a fault. Admonition. Gentle reproof. Ado. Unnecessary activity or ceremony. Adoration. Profound devotion. Adroit. Having skill in the use of the bodily or mental powers. Adulterant. An adulterating substance. Adulterate. To make impure by the addition or mixture of other or baser ingredients. Adumbrate. To represent beforehand in outline or by emblem. Advent. The coming or arrival, as of any important change, event, state, or personage. Adverse. Opposing or opposed. Adversity. Misfortune. Misfortune. Advert. To refer incidentally. Advertiser. One who advertises, especially in newspapers. Advisory. Not mandatory. Advocacy. The act of pleading a cause. Advocate. One who pleads the cause of another, as in a legal or ecclesiastical court. Ariel. Of, pertaining to, or like the air. Aeronaut. One who navigates the air, a balloonist. Aeronautics. 
The art or practice of flying aircraft. Aerostat, a balloon or other apparatus floating in or sustained by the air. Aerostatics, the branch of pneumatics that treats the equilibrium, pressure, and mechanical properties. Affable, easy to approach. Effect, to act upon. Affectation, a study or ostentatious pretense or attempt. Affiliate, some auxiliary person or thing. Affirmative, answering yes to a question at issue. Affix, to fasten. Affluence, a profuse or abundant supply of riches. Affront, an open insult or indignity. A fire, on fire, literally or figuratively. A foot, in progress. Aforesaid, said in a preceding part or before. A fresh, once more after a rest or interval. Afterthought, a thought that comes later than its appropriate or expected time. Agglomerate, to pile or heap together. Aggrandize, to cause to appear greatly. Aggravate, to make heavier, worse, or more burdensome. Aggravation, the act of being made heavier or more heinous as a crime, offense, misfortune, etc. Aggregate. The entire number, sum, mass, or quantity of something. Aggress. To make the first attack. Aggression. An unprovoked attack. Aggrieve. To give grief or sorrow to. Aghast struck with terror and amazement. Agile, able to move or act quickly, physically or mentally. Agitate, to move or excite the feelings or thoughts. Agrarian, pertaining to land, especially agricultural land. Aide de camp, an officer who receives and transmits the orders of the general. Ailment, slight sickness. Airy, delicate, ethereal. Akin, of similar nature or qualities. Alabaster, a white or delicately tinted fine-grained gypsum. Alacrity, cheerful willingness. Albeit, even though. Albino, a person with milky white skin and hair and eyes with bright red pupil and usually pink iris. Album, a book whose leaves are so made to form paper frames for holding photographs or the like. Alchemy, chemistry of the Middle Ages, characterized by the pursuit of changing base metals to gold. Alcohol, a volatile, inflammable, colorless liquid of a penetrating odor and burning taste. Alcoholism, a condition resulting from the inordinate or persistent use of alcoholic beverages. Alcove, a covered recess connected with or at the side of a larger room. Alder, any shrub or small tree of the genus Alumnus of the Oak family. Alderman, a member of a municipal legislative body who usually exercises also certain judicial functions. Aldermanship, the dignity, condition, office, or term of office of an alderman. Alias, an assumed name. Alien, one who owes allegiance to a foreign government. Alienable, capable of being aliened or alienated, as lands. Alienate, to cause to turn away. Alienation, estrangement. Aliment, that which nourishes. Alkali, Anything that will neutralize an acid, as lime, magnesia, etc. Allay, to calm the violence or reduce the intensity of, mitigate. Allege, to assert to be true, especially in a formal manner, as in court. Allegory, the setting forth of a subject under the guise of another subject of aptly suggestive likeness. Alleviate to make less burdensome or less hard to hear. 
Alley, a narrow street, garden path, walk, or the like. Alliance, any combination or union for some common purpose. A lot, to assign a definite thing or part to a certain person. Allotment, portion. Allude, to refer incidentally or by suggestion. Allusion, an indirect and incidental reference to something without definite mention of it. Mention. Alluvian, flood. Ally, a person or thing connected with another, usually in some relation of helpfulness. Almanac, a series of tables giving the days of the week together with certain astronomical information. Aloof, not in sympathy with or desiring to associate with others. Altar, any raised place or structure on which sacrifices may be offered or incense burned. Alter, to make change in. Alteration, change or modification. Altercate, to contend angrily or zealously in words. Alternate, one chosen to act in place of another, in case of the absence or incapacity of that other. Alternative, something that may or must exist, be taken or chosen, or done instead of something else. Altitude, vertical distance or elevation above any point or base level, as the sea. Alto, the lowest or deepest female voice or part. Altruism, benevolence to others on subordination to self-interest. Altruist, one who advocates or practices altruism. Amalgam, an alloy or union of mercury with another metal. Amalgamate, to mix or blend together in a homogeneous body. Amateur, practicing an art or occupation for the love of it, but not as a profession. Amatory, designed to excite love. Ambidextrous, having the ability of using both hands with equal skill or ease. Ambiguous, having a double meaning. Ambitious, eagerly desirous and aspiring. Ambrosial, divinely sweet, fragrant, or delicious. Ambulance, a vehicle fitted for conveying the sick and wounded. Ambulate, to walk about. Ambush, the act or state of lying concealed for the purpose of surprising or attacking the enemy. Ameliorate, to relieve as from pain or hardship. Amenable, willing and ready to submit. Americanism, a peculiar sense in which an English word or phrase is used in the United States. Amicable, done in a friendly spirit. Amity, friendship. Amorous, having a propensity for falling in love. Amorphous, without determinate shape. Amour, a love affair, especially one of an illicit nature. Ampere, the practical unit of electric current strength. Ampersand, the character or symbol for and. Amphibious, living both on land and in water. Amphitheater, an edifice of elliptical shape constructed about a central open space or arena. Amplitude, largeness. Amply, sufficiently. Amputate, to remove by cutting as a limb or some portion of the body. Amusement, diversion. Anachronism, anything occurring or existing out of its proper time. Anagram, the letters of a word or phrase so transposed as to make a different word or phrase. Analogous, corresponding to some other in certain respects, as in form, proportion, relations. Analogy, reasoning in which from certain and known relations or resemblance of others are formed. Analyst, one who analyzes or makes use of the analytical method. Analyze, to examine minutely or critically. Anarchy, absence or utter disregard of government. Anathema, anything forbidden as by social usage. Anatomy, 
that branch of morphology which treats of the structure of organism. Ancestry. One's ancestors collectively. Anecdote. A brief account of some interesting event or incident. Anemia. Deficiency of blood or red corpuscles. Anemic. Affected with anemia. Anemometer. An instrument for measuring the force or velocity of wind. Anesthetic. Pertaining to or producing loss of sensation. Anew. Once more. Angelic. Saintly. Anglophobia. Hatred or dread of England or of what is English. Anglo-Saxon. The entire English race wherever found, as in Europe, the United States, or India. Angular. Sharp-cornered. Anhydrous. Withered. Animadversion. The utterance of criticism or censure. Animadvert. To pass criticism or censure. Animalcule. An animal of microscopic smallness. Animate. To make alive. Animosity. Hatred. Analyst. Historian. Annals, a record of events in their chronological order, year by year. Annex, to add or affix at the end. Annihilate, to destroy absolutely. Annotate, to make explanatory or critical notes on or upon. Annual, occurring every year. Annuity, an annual allowance, payment, or income. Annunciation, Proclamation, Anode, the point where or path by which a voltaic current enters an electrolyte or the like. Anonymous, of unknown authorship. Antagonism, mutual opposition or resistance of counteracting forces, principles, or persons. Antarctic, pertaining to the South Pole or the regions near it. Anti, in the game of poker, to put up a stake before the cards are dealt. Antecede, to precede. Antecedent, one who or that which precedes or goes before, as in time, place, rank, order, or causality. Antechamber, a waiting room for those who seek audience. Antedate, to assign or affix a date to earlier than the actual one. Antediluvian, of or pertaining to the times, things, events, before the great flood and the days of Noah. Antimeridian, before noon. Antimundane, pertaining to time before the world's creation. Antenatal, occurring or existing before birth. Anterior, prior. Anteroom, a room situated before and opening into another, usually larger. Anthology, a collection of extracts from the writings of various authors. Anthracite, hard coal. Anthropology, the science of man in general. Anthropomorphous, having or resembling human form. Antic, a grotesque, ludicrous, or fantastic action. Antichrist, any opponent or enemy of Christ, whether a person or a power. Anticlimax, a gradual or sudden decrease in the importance or impressiveness of what is said. Anticyclone, an atmospheric condition of high central pressure with currents flowing outward. Antidote, anything that will counteract or remove the effects of poison, disease, or the like. Antilogy, inconsistency or contradiction in terms or ideas. Antipathize, to show or feel a feeling of antagonism, aversion, or dislike. Antiphon, a response or alteration of responses, generally musical. Antiphony, an anthem or other composition sung responsively. Antipodes, a place or region on the opposite side of the earth. Antiquary. One who collects and examines old things, as coins, books, metals, weapons, etc. Antiquate, to make old or out of date. 
antique, pertaining to ancient times. Antiseptic anything that destroys or restrains the growth of putrefactive microorganisms. Anti-slavery, opposed to human slavery. Anti-spasmonic, tending to prevent or relieve non-inflammatory spasmodic infections. Antistrophe, the inversion of terms in successive clauses, as in the home of joy and the joy of home. Antitoxin, a substance which neutralizes the poisonous products of microorganisms. Antonym, a word directly opposed to another in meaning. Anxious, distressed in mind with respect to some uncertain matter. Apathy, insensibility to emotion or passionate feeling. Aperture, hole. Apex, the highest point, as of a mountain. Aphorism, Proverb Apiary, a place where bees are kept. Apogee, the climax. Apology, a disclaimer of intentional error or offense. Apostasy, a total departure from one's faith or religion. Apostate, false. Apostle, any messenger commissioned by or as by divine authority. Apothecary, one who keeps drugs for sale and puts up prescriptions. Apotheosis, deification. Appall, to fill with dismay or horror. Apparent, easily understood. Apparition, ghost. Appease, to soothe by quieting anger or indignation. Appellate capable of being appealed to. Appellation, the name or title by which a particular person, class, or thing is called. Append, to add or attach as something accessory, subordinate, or supplementary. Appertain, to belong as by right, fitness, association, classification, possession, or natural relation. Apposit, appropriate, Apposition, the act of placing side by side, together, or in contact. Appraise, to estimate the money value of. Appreciable, capable of being discerned by the senses or intellect. Apprehend, to make a prisoner of, a person, in the name of the law. Apprehensible, capable of being conceived. Approbation, sanction. Appropriate, suitable for the purpose and circumstances. Circumstances. Aqueduct, a water conduit, particularly one for supplying a community from a distance. Aqueous, of, pertaining to, or containing water. Arbiter, one chosen or appointed by mutual consent of parties in dispute to decide matters. Arbitrary. Fixed or done capriciously. Arbitrate. To act or give judgment as umpire. Arbor. A tree. Arboreal. Of or pertaining to a tree or trees. Arborescent. Having the nature of a tree. Arboretum. A botanical garden or place devoted to the cultivation of trees or shrubs. Arboriculture. The cultivation of trees or shrubs. Arcade. A vaulted passageway or street. A roofed passageway having shops, etc. opening from it. Archaic. Antiquated. Archaism. Obsolescence. Archangel. An angel of high rank. Archbishop. The chief of the bishops of an ecclesiastical province in the Greek, Roman, and Anglican Church. Archdeacon, a high official administrator of the affairs of a diocese. Archaeology, the branch of anthropology concerned with the systematic investigation of the relics of man. Archetype, a prototype. Archipelago, any large body of water studded with islands, or the islands collectively themselves. Ardent, 
burning with passion. Ardor, intensity of passion or affection. Arid, very dry. Aristocracy, a hereditary nobility. Aristocrat, a hereditary noble or one nearly connected with nobility. Armada, a fleet of war vessels. Armful, as much as can be held in the arm or arms. Armory, an arsenal. Aroma, an agreeable odor. Arraign, to call into court as a person indicted for crime and demand whether he pleads guilty or not. Arrange, to put in definite or proper order. Arrangement, the act of putting in proper order or the state of being put in order. Errant, notoriously bad. Arrear, something overdue and unpaid. Arrival, a coming to stopping place or destination. Arrogant, unduly or excessively proud, as of wealth, station, learning, etc. Arrogate, to take, demand, or claim, especially presumptuously or without reasons or grounds. Artesian well, a very deep bored well, water rises due to underground pressure. Artful, characterized by craft or cunning. Arthurian, pertaining to King Arthur, the real or legendary hero of British poetic story. Artifice, trickery. Artless, ingenuous. Ascendant, dominant. Ascension, the act of rising. Ascent, a rising, soaring, or climbing. Ascetic, given to severe self-denial and practicing excessive abstinence and devotion. Ascribe, to assign as a quality or attribute. Asexual, having no distinct sexual organs. Ashen, pale, Askance, with a side or indirect glance or meaning. Asperity, harshness or roughness of temper. Aspirant, one who seeks earnestly as for advancement, honors, place. Aspiration, an earnest wish for that which is above one's present reach. Aspire, to have an earnest desire, wish, or longing as for something high and good not yet attained. Assailant, one who attacks. Assassin, one who kills or tries to kill treacherously or secretly. Assassinate, to kill as by surprise or secret assault, especially the killing of some eminent person. Assassination, murder as by secret assault or treachery. Assay, the chemical analysis or testing of an alloy ore. Assent, to express agreement with a statement or matter of opinion. Assess, to determine the amount of, such as a tax or other sum to be paid. Assessor, an officer whose duty it is to assess taxes. Assets, property in general regarded as applicable to the payment of debts. Assiduous, diligent. Assignee. One who is appointed to act for another in the management of certain property and interests. Assimilate, to adapt. Assonance, resemblance or correspondence in sound. Assonant, having resemblance of sound. Assonate, to accord in sound, especially vowel sound. Assuage to cause to be less harsh, violent, or severe, as excitement, appetite, pain, or disease. Astringent, harsh in disposition or character. Astute, keen in discernment. Atheism, the denial of the existence of God. Athirst, wanting water. Athwart, from side to side. Atomizer, an apparatus for reducing a liquid to a fine spray, as for disinfection, inhalation, etc. Atone, to make amends for. 
Atonement, amends, reparation, or expiation made from wrong or injury. Atrocious, outrageously or wantonly wicked, criminal, vile, or cruel. Atrocity, great cruelty or reckless wickedness. Attaché, a subordinate member of a diplomatic embassy. Attest, to certify as accurate, genuine, or true. Attorney General, the chief law officer of a government. Auburn, reddish-brown, said usually of the hair. Audacious, fearless. Audible, loud enough to be heard. Audition, the act or a sensation of hearing. Auditory, of or pertaining to hearing or the organs or sense of hearing. Augment, to make bigger. Augur, to predict. Augustinian, pertaining to St. Augustine, his doctrines or the religious orders called after him. Aura, pervasive psychic influence supposed to emanate from persons. Aural, of or pertaining to the ear. Oracle, one of the two chambers of the heart which receives the blood from the veins. Auricular, of or pertaining to the ear, its oracle, or the sense of hearing. Auriferous, containing gold. Aurora, a luminous phenomenon in the upper regions of the atmosphere. Auspice, favoring, protecting, or a propitious influence or guidance. Austere, severely simple, unadorned. Autarchy, unrestricted power. Authentic, of undisputed origin. Authenticity, the state or quality of being genuine, or of the origin and authorship claimed. Autobiography, the story of one's life written by himself. Autocracy, absolute government. Autocrat, anyone who claims or wields unrestricted or undisputed authority or influence. Automaton, any living being whose actions are or appear to be involuntary or mechanical. Autonomous, self-governing. Autonomy, self-government. Autopsy, the examination of a dead body by dissection to ascertain the cause of death. Autumnal, of or pertaining to autumn. Auxiliary, one who or that which aids or helps, especially when regarded as subsidiary or accessory. Avalanche, the fall or sliding of a mass of snow or ice down a mountain slope, often bearing with it rock. Avarice, passion for getting and keeping riches. Aver, to assert as a fact. Averse, reluctant. Aversion, a mental condition of fixed opposition to or dislike of some particular thing. Avert, to turn away or aside. Aviary, a spacious cage or enclosure in which live birds are kept. Avidity, greediness. Avocation, diversion. Avow, to declare openly. Awaken, to arouse as emotion, interest, or the like. Awry, out of the proper form, direction, or position. I, an expression of assent. Azalea, a flowering shrub. Azure, the color of the sky. Baconian, of or pertaining to Lord Bacon or his system of philosophy. Bacterium, a microbe. Badger, to pester. Baffle, to foil or frustrate. Bailiff, an officer of court having custody of prisoners under arraignment. Baize, a single-colored napped woolen fabric used for table covers, curtains, etc. Bale, a large package prepared for transportation or storage. Baleful, malignant. Ballad, any popular narrative poem often with epic subject and usually in lyric form. Balsam, 
a medical preparation, aromatic and oily, used for healing. Banal, commonplace. Barcarole, a boat song of Venetian gondoliers. Barograph, an instrument that registers graphically and continuously the atmospheric pressure. Barometer, an instrument for indicating the atmospheric pressure per unit of surface. Barring, apart from. Baritone, having a register higher than bass and lower than tenor. Basque, to make warm by genial heat. Bass, low in tone or compass. Baste, to cover with melted fat, gravy while cooking. Baton, an official staff born either as a weapon or as an emblem of authority or privilege. Battalion, a body of infantry composed of two or more companies, forming a part of a regiment. Batten, a narrow strip of wood. Batter, a thick liquid mixture of two or more materials beaten together to be used in cookery. Bauble, a trinket. Ball, to proclaim by outcry. Beatify, to make supremely happy. Beatitude, any state of great happiness. Bow, an escort or lover. Becalm, to make quiet. Beck, to give a signal to by nod or gesture. Bedaub, to smear over as with something oily or sticky. Bedeck, to cover with ornament. Bedlam, madhouse. Befog, to confuse. Befriend, to be a friend to, especially when in need. Beget, to produce by sexual generation. Begrudge, to envy one of the possession of. Belate, to delay past the proper hour. Belay, to make fast as a rope by winding round a cleat. Belie, to misrepresent. Believe, to accept as true on the testimony or authority of others. Belittle, to disparage. Bell, a woman who is a center of attraction because of her beauty, accomplishments, etc. Bellicose, warlike. Belligerent, manifesting a warlike spirit. Bemoan, to lament. Benediction, a solemn invocation of the divine blessing. Benefactor, a doer of kindly and charitable acts. Benefice, a church office endowed with funds or property for the maintenance of divine service. Beneficent, characterized by charity and kindness. Beneficial, helpful. Beneficiary, one who is lawfully entitled to the profits and proceeds of an estate or property. Benefit, helpful result. Benevolence, any act of kindness or well-doing. Benevolent, loving others and actively desirous of their well-being. Well-being, benign, good and kind of heart. Benignant, benevolent in feeling, character, or aspect. Benignity, kindness of feeling, disposition, or manner. Benison, blessing. Bequeath, to give by will. Bereave, to make desolate with loneliness and grief. Birth, a bunk or bed in a vessel, sleeping car, etc. Beseech, to implore. Beset, to attack on all sides. Besmear, to smear over as with an oily or sticky substance. Bestial, animal. Bestrew, to sprinkle or cover with things strewn. Bestride, to get or sit upon a stride, as a horse. Bethink, to remind oneself. Betide, to happen to or befall. 
betimes, in good season or time. Betroth, to engage to marry. Betrothal, engagement to marry. Bevel, any inclination of two surfaces other than 90 degrees. Bewilder, to confuse the perceptions or judgment of. Bibliomania, the passion for collecting books. Bibliography, a list of the words of an author or the literature bearing on a particular subject. Bibliophile, one who loves books. Bibulous, fond of drinking. Bide, to await. Biennial, a plant that produces leaves and roots the first year and flowers and fruit the second. Beer, a horizontal framework with two handles at each end for carrying a corpse to the grave. Bigamist, one who has two spouses at the same time. Bigamy, the crime of marrying another person while having a legal spouse living. Bite, a slightly receding bay between headlands formed by a long curve of a coastline. Bilateral, two-sided. Bilingual, speaking two languages. Biograph, a bibliographical sketch or notice. Biography, a written account of one's life, actions, and character. Biology, the science of life or living organisms. Biped, an animal having two feet. Birthright, a privilege or possession into which one is born. Bitterness, acridity as to the taste. Blasé, sated with pleasure. Blaspheme, to indulge in profane oaths. Blatant, noisily or offensively loud or clamorous. Blaze, a vivid glowing flame. Blazon, to make widely or generally known. Bleak, desolate. Blemish, a mark that mars beauty. Blithe, joyous. Blithesome, cheerful. Blockade, the shutting up of a town, a frontier, or a line of coast by hostile forces. Boatswain, a subordinate officer of a vessel who has general charge of the rigging, anchors, etc. Bodice, a woman's ornamental corset-shaped laced waist. Bodily, corporeal. Boisterous, unchecked merriment or animal spirits. Bowl, the trunk or body of a tree. Bolero, a Spanish dance illustrative of the passion of love, accompanied by cast nets and singing. Bowl, a round pod or seed capsule as a flax or cotton bowl. Bolster, to support as something wrong. Bomb, a hollow projectile containing an explosive material. Bombard, to assail with any missile or with abusive speech. Bombardier, a person who has charge of mortars, bombs, and shells. Bombast, inflated or extravagant language, especially on unimportant subjects. Boorish, rude. Bore, to weary by tediousness or dullness. Burrow, an incorporated village or town. Bosom, the breast or the upper front of the thorax of a human being, especially of a woman. Botanical, connected with the study or cultivation of plants. Botanize, to study plant life. Botany, the science that studies and treats plants. Bountiful, showing abundance. Bodlerize, to expurgate in editing a literary composition by omitting words or passages. Bowler, in cricket, the player who delivers the ball. Boycott, to place the products or merchandise of under a ban.
Bray, hillside. Braggart, a vain boaster. Brandish, to wave, shake, or flourish triumphantly or defiantly as a sword or spear. Bravado, an aggressive display of boldness. Bravo, well done. Bray, a loud, harsh sound, as the cry of an ass or the blast of a horn. Braze, to make of or ornament with brass. Brazier, an open pan or basin for holding live coals. Breach, the violation of official duty, lawful right, or a legal obligation. Breaker, one who trains horses, dogs, etc. Breach, the buttocks. Brethren, members of a brotherhood, guild, profession, association, or the like. Brevity, shortness of duration. Bric-a-brac, objects of curiosity or for decoration. Bridle, the head harness of a horse consisting of a headstall, a bit, and the reins. Brigade, a body of troops consisting of two or more regiments. Brigadier, general officer who commands a brigade, ranking between a colonel and a major general. Brigand, one who lives by robbery and plunder. Brimstone, sulfur. Brine, water saturated with salt. Bristle, one of the coarse stiff hairs of swine, used in brush making, etc. Britannia, the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Britishism, a word, idiom, or phrase characteristic of Great Britain or the British. Brittle, fragile. Broach, to mention for the first time. Broadcast, disseminated far and wide. Brogan, a coarse, heavy shoe. Brogue, any dialect pronunciation of English, especially that of the Irish people. Brokerage, the business of making sales and purchases for a commission, a broker. Bromine, a dark reddish-brown non-metallic liquid element with a suffocating odor. Bronchitis, inflammation of the bronchial tubes. Bronchus, either of the two subdivisions of the trachea conveying air into the lungs. Brooch or brooch. An article of jewelry fastened by a hinged pin and hook on the underside. Brotherhood. Spiritual or social fellowship or solidarity. Browbeat. To overwhelm or attempt to do so by stern, haughty, or rude address or manner. Brusque. Somewhat rough or rude in manner or speech. Buffoon. A clown. Buffoonery. Low drollery, coarse jokes, etc. Bulbous, of or pertaining to or like a bulb. Bullock, an ox. Bullrush, any one of various tall rush-like plants growing in damp ground or water. Bulwark, anything that gives security or defense. Bumper, a cup or glass filled to the brim, especially one to be drunk as a toast or health. Bumptious full of offensive and aggressive self-conceit. Bungle, to execute clumsily. Buoyancy, power or tendency to float on or in a liquid or gas. Buoyant, having the power or tendency to float or keep afloat. Bureau, a chest of drawers for clothing, etc. Bureaucracy, Government by departments of men transacting particular branches of public business. Burgess. In colonial times, a member of the lower house of the legislature of Maryland or Virginia. Burger. An inhabitant, citizen, or freeman of a borough, burg, or corporate town. Burnish. To make brilliant or shining. Burser. A treasurer. Bustle. To hurry. But, to strike with or as with the head or horns. Butte, a conspicuous hill, low mountain, or natural turret, generally isolated. 
buttress, any support or prop. Bylaw, a rule or law adopted by an association, a corporation, or the like. Cabal, a number of persons secretly united for effecting by intrigue some private purpose. Cabalism, superstitious devotion to one's religion. Cabinet, the body of men constituting the official advisors of the executive head of a nation. Cacophony, a disagreeable, harsh, or discordant sound or combination of sounds or tones. Cadaverous, resembling a corpse. Cadence, rhythmical or measured flow or movement, as in poetry, or the time and pace of marching troops. Cadenza, an embellishment or flourish, prepared or improvised, for a solo voice or instrument. Caitiff, cowardly. Cajole, to impose on or dupe by flattering speech. Cajolery, delusive speech. Calculable, that which may be estimated by reckoning. Calculus. A concretion formed in various parts of the body resembling a pebble in hardness. Callosity. The state of being hard and insensible. Callow. Without experience of the world. Calorie. Amount of heat needed to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water one degree centigrade. Calumny. Slander. Calvary the place where Christ was crucified. Calvinism, the system of doctrine taught by John Calvin. Calvinize, to teach or imbue with the doctrines of Calvinism. Or Abscission, the act of cutting off, as in a surgical operation. Abscond, to depart suddenly and secretly, as for the purpose of escaping arrest. Absence, the act of not being present or available. Absent-minded, lacking in attention to immediate surroundings or business. Absolution, forgiveness or passing over of offenses. Absolve, to free from sin or its penalties. Absorb, to drink in or suck up as a sponge absorbs water. Absorption, the act or process of absorbing. Abstain, to keep oneself back from doing or using something. Abstemious, characterized by self-denial or abstinence, as in the use of drink, food. Abstinence, self-denial. Abstruse, dealing with matters difficult to be understood. Absurd, inconsistent with reason or common sense. Abundant, plentiful, abusive, employing harsh words or ill treatment. Abut, to touch at the end or boundary line. Abyss, bottomless gulf. Academic, of or pertaining to an academy, college, or university. Academician, a member of an academy of literature, art, or science. Academy, any institution where the higher branches of learning are taught. Accede, to agree. Accelerate, to move faster. Accept, to take when offered. Access, a way of approach or entrance, passage. Accessible, approachable. A session, induction or elevation, as to dignity, office, or government. Accessory, a person or thing that aids the principal agent. Acclaim, to utter with a shout. Accommodate, to furnish something as a kindness or favor. Accompaniment, a subordinate part or parts, enriching or supporting the leading part. Accompanist, one who or that which accompanies. Accompany, to go with or be associated with as a companion. Accomplice, an associate in wrongdoing. Accomplish, to bring to pass.